out here in the Middle West shooting for the next YouTube video. Enough about that. Tuesday, new drop comes in. DaisyFreshUSA.com. Go grab you and your mama a shirt. And your auntie. And your, and your nephew. Fuck it. Get six of them for the whole family. Why not, right? They're going to sell out soon. Sell out soon. <laughs> He's 44 years old. He's in here getting it in. About as good as a goddamn 44 year old can get, man. He he gets a lot of takedowns. Surprisingly, he's his gut is very deceiving to most. You think he's like slow as molasses, but he's fast, man. He's quick like lightning. It's really surprising. It's hard for me to take him down. Pixley has a hard time winning sometimes too. He wrestled when he was in high school. He's 145 pounds. Yeah, he's still. The thing is, he's, he's what. It, look at that. See what I'm saying? See what the fuck I'm saying right there? Hey. He fucking, he's had held the takedown record for, uh, he held the takedown record, I think they said, for three centuries in Mount Vernon. He's about 600 years old. How the boys gonna do out there? Well, it's obvious. Pixley by guillotine. He's gonna win, guaranteed. He's gonna probably slide by, foot sweep, and top total domination, that's what he does. Dude can never take him down. He's gonna do good, man. It's just another day at the office. Big sleeping, like, Dude, Josh. you know how wrestling goes hand in hand almost. Yeah. He's yeah, fucking that's been that's battling one-on-one -on -one with humans forever. <laughs> and people just can't fuck with him. He's just so dominant. And Couch, he's came a long way, man. He's on fire. You see him break old boy's leg, that Jimenez dude's leg or knee or whatever. Yeah. He was supposed to lose. Yeah, no one thought he was going to win that all. He's always been supposed to lose, but he's got too good training up in here. Pixley's supposed to hey, win. 35, 35 seconds. Okay. Pixley's supposed to win, guaranteed, and he will. But but I think they're good. I think the preparation is hot and ready. Serving up hot fucking rice. Hey! You can never quit. It's all about never giving up the position, ever. One person's gonna quit. It's gonna be me, or it's gonna be them. It's never been me. You know what I mean? And that's what they're bringing. Hey. One, two, three. Yes, sir! No, it's not bad. <laughs> I was nice of him. So we're at my son's, uh, my son Gavin, it's his uh, basketball game tonight. So his, his team is a class S team, meaning it's a small school. Their team is 22 and 0. Their coach contacted the class L school team that's ranked number one, that's also undefeated. And uh, they brought them here, so they're gonna, they're gonna have a game to see who the only undefeated team, I believe, in the southern part of our state is. So 
the guys are coming out, the boys, Couch, uh, Pixley, they always come and cheer, cheer for all the kids in the gym, especially my boys. So uh, I brought the guys out and we're going to cheer for these guys and try to take down the, the big school tonight. Me guys? Yeah. Oh, I'll kill them. You guys want to win yet? <laughs> I'm trash. <laughs> <laughs> Defense only. <laughs> oh, you can't play? No. I, I he, he's good, good at soccer, bro. He's good with his feet. Not with his, not hooping, though. Hey, I'm uncoordinated with the ball. Soccer, soccer, he'll beat my ass. And you guys play one on one? Basketball? Yeah. To a game I know of 10? I, know I beat him 2-0. Uh, okay. I would beat you 10-0. Make you take it, I beat you 10-0. Nah. Oh. Make you take it, I beat you 10-0. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> That's a meeting. Step, Step behind the line. Step behind the line. You got your three-pointer. Step behind the line. Step behind the line. Step, I don't care what you shoot, step behind the line. Walk your Whoa. <laughs> hey, you say we did check it? Oh, oh, that was clean. That was on your second shot. Of course you're going to make it. Oh. Don't fuck him. Pushing, we've been pushing the guys really hard. We got a lot of good stuff coming up right now on the schedule. But who's number one? for Jacob Couch and Michael Pixley is coming up. It's a big deal, man, for both of them. Um, Couch is going against Rada, you know, tough black belt. And then this is Michael Pixley's coming out party, you know, for a big show like who's number one. So we're all really hyped, man. And we've been pushing the guys to the limit. He, he's, been, he's been really going hard on them. And they, uh, we, we like to come out and do stuff like this, man, just to, like relax and do like team stuff like this and su support Heath, you know, support Heath's son. You know, we've all been around uh, Gavin since uh, he was around six years old. He's 13 now. I've been going to these games for almost six years now, and this is just something we enjoy doing and hanging out together and yelling for somebody that we care about, you know? And it has nothing to do with jujitsu at all, so it's, it's really neat to know, get out of our element and just yeah. hang out. <laughs> what are we doing here, boys? We're here at Maju in Paducah, Kentucky. About to see Dr. Jerry and get that Creo, get that Creo therapy more than yes, sir. About to get it That's in. That's the ice. Creo right here. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Stop hit that boy with a fake. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Jerry Smith. I'm one of the owners and providers here at the Optimize U Clinics. Uh, we have several locations spread out around the United States. Today we've got uh, the Heath Pedigo warriors down here hanging out with us doing a lot of recovery modalities. Uh, I guess they're going down to uh, play at the Who's number, one? Who's number One event, right? And so what we have them doing today, uh, we have a mix of cryotherapy, which we have whole body electric cryo, uh, which is all about releasing norepinephrine and having an anti-inflammatory effect and several other positive benefits like cold shock proteins. You can Google that. We won't get too nerdy for this video. And the other thing that they're doing today is compression therapy, uh, which provides this um, uh, pneumatic device that compresses around your legs, moves lactic acid around, pulls nutrients back into those channels as it relaxes. So it's a good benefit for people in that realm of not just fighters or jujitsu guys, but we're talking about athletes in general that want faster recovery, more performance. You don't find many high level guys now that aren't doing these things. So if you're not and you're a competitor, you should come see me. We should be doing them. <laughs> Hell no, nah, that shit scared me. What was it? Oh, bro. Cold? I can't feel any part of my body. I can't feel any part of my fucking body. Get out of there, Mike. They kept trying to kill us. Oh to... my god, bro. What was it? Oh, cold? It's cold as fuck in there, dude. I thought I was gonna pass out. Me too. <laughs> he was, we, read the, we didn't read the bottom of the goddamn sign. I, that's why I was spinning, bro. 
<laughs> all I said, all I, dude, hold on a second. I got fucking, my, my fucking eyes are sort of watering, bro. Oh, bro. Dude, all I seen. You have been there for about five minutes. What are we running? <laughs> when you said, when you. Because I forgot I walked outside and then I forgot to put the timer and you had already been in there for like two minutes. That was decent though. I feel I feel different, bro. Low key. I feel like that was a spiritual experience. It was spiritual as fuck. Dude. I feel like I took some ayahuasca or something, man. Peyote. Peyote, dude. <laughs> Getting that fucking ice cold peyote, son. So you guys just did a round of cryo and compression, right? Yeah. How'd the cryo make you feel? Besides just cold. I felt like I was gonna pass out for a second. Yeah, we didn't uh, we didn't exactly read the rules. Okay. And I was standing there in place for about 15 seconds, and then I felt like I had an out-of-body experience. Kinda. Good, okay. He loosened that a little bit. I was spinning. Yeah. Because it said to move. Yeah, he so was spinning. Was he was bouncing right in and out. He was, like, ping-ponging in and out. I was, like, I was just standing there by myself. Were you sore when you started? My lower back was. I feel good now. Yeah, feel less sore now, right? Yeah. That's the way it should be. Definitely. The compression, do you feel like you got a good squeeze on your legs out of it? Yeah, uh, definitely. My legs feel light right now. Yeah, yeah right? Say. Awesome. Yeah, That's what it's supposed to be. Like bloods in there. And you would want to do this repetitively. So like before every event and maybe a day after every event, it's, it helps you bounce back faster, get stronger, win more matches, right? Touch it. <laughs> so we just got into Vegas. Um, this is actually Jacob Couch's first time, so uh, we brought him out for a little like kind of like getaway type thing. You know, the, the guy's been in the uh, gym training so hard for the who's number one matches, Michael Pixley, Jacob Couch. They got two weeks, so we wanted to get him out for the weekend and do kind of like a, a thing that we do right before big matches. We kind of come out here to Vegas and uh, do, do some uh, different type of workouts that are out, uh, you know, like off the mat. So uh, we just got in. Like I said, this is Couch's first time. He's uh, impressed by the lights. It's a little different from. Uh, Hazard, Kentucky, obviously, so I'm excited to show him around, and I don't know if he's going to be so excited about the workout, so but we'll see. I'll pay for whatever. I don't care. Hey, we got to get couch ziplining through this motherfucker. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> got to throw up the flex, though, the whole time. <laughs> What is that? That's, that's fucking sick. Holy shit, that is that's fucking badass. That's badass, dude. Oh, yeah. What the fuck, dude? He's been 37 motherfuckers. I wish I knew about him when we came out for other did events. The, the, I just found out about it. I've never seen that shit like that. Bro. You want me to do it, bro? You got shitty handwriting, don't you? I got pretty good handwriting. You don't even know how to write? You know how to spell PSO? You don't even know how to read or write, right? Well, since then, I've, I've worked on it. I've been working real hard. <laughs> you got more, this, bro. You did more film study? Yeah, me too. Wait, you got fingernails? You're fired. You got fingernails? Let me do the sticker, I got you. Look, it's a little. No, oh, never mind. Hey, motherfucker, we got it. Move over. Yeah, you get to put sticker on right it. Don't fuck it up. That's what I always put. Sweet! Huh? It's never coming down. <laughs> <laughs> Seven fifty for diesel. Jay's <laughs> the like Motley Crue. <laughs> we'll push it home. Why is that shit so expensive? Oh. So we're out in the middle of nowhere. When people come out, like the tourist, they don't realize there's nothing out here for for miles. So they, uh, you get out here and you need gas, and you know you, you can run out of gas or fill up. So it costs you seven bucks a gallon. <laughs> To fill the car up it, on a little car, it would be like a hundred bucks. On a truck, be so bad, like two hundred and fifty bucks. Where we at, Michael? Saudi Arabia. <laughs> we out here in the trenches. <laughs> About to look for some camels. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nee, dit is een map. Some donkeys. Hi, you're on. What's up, guys? So, we're at the Mesquite Flat Sand Dunes in uh, Death Valley. So, like I said uh, earlier, we like to bring the guys out. You know, they, they've been in the gym working uh, so long, sometimes you just got to get out of the gym. You know, you got to have your focus just can't be in one place. So it's just, just get it like a mental break. So we come out, uh, come out here. We do some workouts, running in the sand, the sand dunes right here. It, it looks like the Middle East, uh, you know, in the middle of nowhere. So it's really cool, but uh, running in the sand is really, really tough. So we just come out and do some workouts like that. Get it in, just like I said, kind of take your mind away from everything, get out of the gym and uh, just prepare for the next two weeks coming up. So get a little workout in out here and then, uh, Thought we'd bring you guys along so you could check it out. It's a pretty awesome place. Fuck yeah. Did I did I sound out of breath? Nice. So uh, we just you guys just finished the workout. How was the how was the difference there? Uh, I don't know if it's the fucking elevation or if I'm just fat right now, but that was hard as fuck. Yeah. Definitely fun though to get off the mats and do something different. Yeah, good good uh. Good little change up from getting my head banged down for 15 minutes straight in the middle by everyone, the sand dunes. Still getting banged up by sand dunes, they're kicking our ass, but having a hell of a time. It's yeah. pretty peaceful out here, right? It's, it's very quiet. Shit, man. You ever been to California before? First time, right? First time in Cali. Definitely badass. Your first time in Nevada. First time in Nevada, first time to any kind of desert. Uh, it looks like the movies. I think about driving down the road on 67 or Mustang or a Firebird. Yeah, you really forget about With how much this shit sucks when you just look around and yeah. see the scenery and shit. It makes it fun. Yeah, Blair and Kid Rock. Motley Crue, Simple Crew, man. Baby. Simple man. All that good <laughs> shit. All the Firebird good shit. This is that good shit. Yeah, <laughs> this is that Fuego. <laughs> What's up, yo? Oh yeah, when we were first drilling it, he fucking. I did it on him live, and he didn't. He didn't understand. He didn't. Hey, he didn't understand what. Uh, he didn't realize. He didn't understand what he was in. Yeah, yeah. And I was like holding on to it. And the motherfucker, the motherfucker exploded the wrong way. And the knee opened when you did it. Fuck. He was like, "Dude, you hear that?" And I was like, "Nah." So where are we at right now, man? Can you explain where, where we're at? Yeah, where the hike is. And we're in um, Gold Strike Hike. It's um, on the border of Nevada and Arizona. And um, it's my favorite hike in Vegas. How many times do you do this shit? So many. I used to do it. I used to do it every week, like once a week. That's I used awesome. to run it. This is my favorite hike ever. When he showed me this, man, it was like the, the most beautiful one. one. It's the best one I've ever done. Yeah. I've wanted to come back for years, so. Yeah, this is the best one in Vegas. Yeah, it's the same. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> How do you climb with this guy now? You scaled that motherfucker, dude. I'm actually doing buck. You did good now, boy. Is that right? Is that right? Do it. Mm -hmm. well, was it right? Was it right? Let, Mi let Michael test you. What you doing, buck? What you doing, now, boy? He's doing the cow jacks. Uh, do it. The Utah fried chicken accent. Utah fried chicken. From Utah? Yeah. He had the vibe like when Santa is not. I'm gonna climb. Hey, if y'all keep talking about, I'm gonna climb up and fall down on purpose. Okay, I don't want to talk about it anymore. That's UFC. The UFC. No. Utah fried chicken. Bro, do you like? A little conditioning hike out here, the Gold Springs hike. Man, you know, the biggest thing about this isn't even the. Conditioning, it's just getting them out. They've had so much pressure and so much, uh, you know, so much goes into training for these big matches. Uh, 
It's Michael's first who's number one on grappling. The who's number one was actually started for Michael Pixley when he was a high school wrestler. That's crazy. So, um, so for him and Couch, this would just kind of get them away and get their mind right. Meet up with the Musamichis and John, and um, man, just you know, just kind of relax and chill out, and you know, that that's the whole thing. It's it's a really incredible hike, and you know, just doing it together is a really awesome feeling. So. You know, obviously you get the physical part of it, but the mental is really the main reason that we come out. Release it here. Straight up. Release it here. All right. So look, like, like this. Straight, like, like line it. No, no, no. You don't want to do it straight because you're going to hit fucking, you're going to hit him back there in the hat. So look, fucking right here. Release it back here. Don't get that dog. Fuck. Do not hit the bird, please. No. <laughs> Why'd you cut your finger, bro? I was, I was throwing it and I hit a rock. I hit a rock, but I went to the... Yeah, oh, my God. <laughs>